Hello. Hello, Hello everyone. Hello. How's everyone doing today? I'm doing you well. Know this, <laughs> you may know this is a change in my model right now. Ignore that. I was experimenting with some hair dye. <laughs> Don't worry about it. It's nothing. I'm not trying to cosplay at all. That reminds me, I should probably uh, open up your stream on the other computer here real quick. Oh, good idea. Let me, let me look you up too. Hmm. Preview. Preview on my stream looks a little bit odd. Seems yeah. kind of like slow. Huh? Is, uh, I'm, hold on. I'm not moving anything right now. <laughs> oh, mine, mine is slow? No, mine. On mine. Oh, uh, okay. Um, hold on. I need to go look at my channel real quick. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, uh yeah, the stream... It's definitely moving in slow motion for some reason. Uh, this is concerning. Looks fine to me in my end. Does it? Yeah. From my peer review, and uh, I just noticed that I don't have stream stream uh, stream elements, but is kind of like disabled or something. I don't know if that's the same for you. If you have stream elements, uh, I but... don't. Mm. Weird. Uh, anyway. Why is why is stream elements shitting the bed? Anyway, yes. What were you gonna say? So, my stream looks good to you. Yeah, yours look mm. great. And uh, does it sound good too? Everything's good. Uh, oh, let me let me see. Yeah, sounds fine to me. <laughs> huh. I wonder why that is. Because it looks like it's like it looks like it's going at like a quarter speed to me, or something like that. I wouldn't worry too much about it. What what are you using? Are you what, are you using like a, a browser? Your mobile like a mobile device? What are you what are you using to um, I'm looking at it on my I mean it's <laughs> what the preview looks like on my OBS and also on my laptop <laughs> like my other <laughs> computer that I'm watching this stream on so that's really weird <laughs> sorry <laughs> hmm? The first time chatter, dead in my darkness. Are you Darth Vader, baby? Cause I want you to force. <laughs> Welcome in. How you doing? That's a great. One. That's a great first chat. That's amazing. That's fantastic. Oh, that that made me laugh. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to do my best to disregard the very odd issues that I'm having on my end because you don't seem to be having those same issues uh, no. with regards to my stream. So we're going to... I don't know why this would be happening on two computers, but we're just going to live with it, I guess. Okay. And... Um, well, yeah, I don't know see. what more to say than that. <laughs> let me see, wait. Okay, yeah, it's working fine on my end. It's working great. Your stream looks great. Here he is. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah my you stream did, is... You did check that the, the audio is playing at the proper rate, yeah, yes? Yes. <laughs> yep. Okay. It's playing, Apologies playing if, I'm, out. if I'm seeming a bit uh, anxious here. I've just never seen this issue before, and I was very concerned. I, I don't know. Uh, but... You can play. You can, your preview is fine. You can see everything. My uh, my my mouse is moving at a good speed, right? Yeah. No. Everything. Everything else on my computer is fine. It's just that, like, the what I am seeing on OBS is like very slow. Gotcha. All right. All righty. Are we ready to start? Uh, sure. Well, uh, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> First, okay. I want to do my intro. Okay. Yes. Hello, hello. I have arrived. All right. It feels weird to do it now. But anyway, I did have other things that I wanted to talk about uh, sure. before we got started. So, yes. So. <laughs> I'm 
I'm sorry. Just getting over this 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 first me- my first message from this this one to- first time chatter. It, mm, I don't know. That's hilarious. That, that's funny. But yes. Anyway, you, you do your do your intro. So yes. Get it over with. So after a very long time of doing very little stream related, I've started uh-huh. uh, editing and uh, I do minimal editing, but uh, editing, uh, rendering, and uploading my vods again. So you should see some of the VODs of these, basically just these streams, because those are the only streams that I've been doing these past uh, few weeks. Yeah, Yeah, of the Valhalla streams, the VODs of those from, I believe, number 13 or 14. I don't remember when when I stopped uploading them. But uh, number 13 on, the Pokemon Showdown stream. Um, And yeah, that will be forthcoming in the next few days. Uh, beyond that, I've also been tinkering with some OBS settings. I've been doing that on my other computer, so there's no difference here for right now. I didn't want to, you know, mess with anything. <laughs> I didn't want to mess with anything day of stream. Uh, 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 that was, uh, hmm? I, I, I just heard a Windows sound. I don't know if that was you. <laughs> uh, Windows was as concerning. in the operating system or Windows as in the architectural structure uh which one sounds scarier <laughs> yes anyway i heard nothing so okay presumably that's on your end it's probably my work laptop being annoying mm. oh well <laughs> but yeah. thank you for the follow dead in my darkness i appreciate you thank you Indeed. i don't know why my i don't know why my uh my shout outs are not my my alerts not working mm. that's very annoying everything's just uh, kind of weird today it seems like <laughs> I'm I'm in the works of redoing my entire alert ecosystem. Mm. <laughs> how it works, it, it just it's not it's not doing its job how I want it. So yeah, maybe that's a maybe that's a sign that I need to start work on that. Fair enough. But yeah. So let's see. I went over. Yeah, been working on vods, been working on OBS. Uh, hope to start streaming again more often uh but i think i i don't know i don't want to take up too much time here so we can we can move on uh to the actual game that we're here to play tonight if you'd you like can, yeah you can talk while i talk i guess or shove in what you were trying to stay in between like wedge it um hmm, fair enough i'll Red make is some due time here and there on the 30th Please make sure your account has the necessary 10 grand or you'll be evicted. Jill bought what she wanted and she's pleased with herself. She will surely focus at work. Have a very nice day. Oh yeah, also that reminds me. So the other the other day, last week I should say, we uh we got the the Mineki Neko for uh, Jill. And you uh you noted that you were you're cu- you were curious. You you remembered uh a like the how in Japan they have a, a tradition of repairing things with gold. Yes, yes, oh, yes. I did actually do some research into that off stream. Okay. Yeah, it is called uh, kintsuji. Or hold on, let me double check <laughs> because now kintsuji. I'm not sure. As soon as I as soon as I say it, I lose all confidence in what <laughs> I am saying. You're fine. Kintsugi, kintsugi, I think. Kintsugi. Yes, kintsugi. Kintsugi. Yes, according to Wikipedia, kintsugi, or golden joinery, uh, is the Japanese art of repairing broken pottery by mending areas of breakage with lacquer, dusted, or mixed with powdered gold, silver, or platinum. Uh, As a philosophy, it treats breakage and repair as part of the history of an object, rather than something to disguise. Oh, that's fascinating. Yes. Yeah, Yeah, I just figured Uh, I'd give you a little bit more information on that. Yeah, it's, I apply it to my own model because my like my engine block arm is not part of originally what I was, but adding that gold, quote unquote, I'm more beautiful as a result. Yes, <laughs> yes, indeed. We're anyway. both very much in that same boat of having replaced an arm, huh? Yes. It's funny that Mine's... we've replaced the the opposite arm. It's true. Um, mine's used for killing, though. Is yours used for killing? Mine is not used for killing. Mine is used for normal oh. arm things, more or less. 
Well, my mine is an engine-powered rocket that um that it, if I choose to, I can fire it at someone and probably it will lop their head off. Hmm. Is mine a cool is function. a prefabricated prosthetic that I assembled from a kit. <laughs> I mean, I mean that that's amazing. That that's incredible that you have the tenacity to to work on your own arm that you don't have with only one arm. It was pretty rough. That, yes. Yeah. My, same here. Uh, same here. It was awful. It, I just stuck my stump into a junk pile, and out came this this crap. I mm. I didn't. I just believed it hard enough, and it just worked. Nice. Yeah. That's how I function. That's how my the stream functions. I just believe that works, and it just does. So it, it it's a it's a miracle that anything works at all. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. The cat says you've been talking a lot with that Alma girl, Jill. Jealous. Jill, you are a silly, silly girl. Oh, Augmented Eye has some news. Wait a second. Wait a second. All right. Wait we, a second. We read these at the end of last week, didn't we? Hmm. I swear to God, I saved. I swear to God. I you saved. did. I know you did. You saw this me. Is new... You saw me. Yeah, I know you did because this is new dialogue from four. I know that. I know that. Uh, I know that you saved. I know this is new dialogue. This. This was saved on May twenty fifth, two thousand twenty three. That was last week. Mm hmm. So why is the game gaslighting? <laughs> I think I don't know. Didn't we didn't we read the news at the end of last stream because we you got raided and you didn't want to leave immediately? That's right. I think that's what that's happened. What, I got raided. Uh, it was from um fuck. It, oh shit. Uh, Ka Kaito Suzuki raided mm. me. <laughs> yes, I knew that from the start. I, I was just taking my time. I, mm -hmm. I, I was dramatic You're giving a pause. dramatic pause, yes. Yes, yes. I knew that, of course. Of um, course. But why is it, why are these new? Why 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 do they show up as new? Why is there why was there an exclamation point right here? I think we maybe didn't save after reading them because we didn't actually play the game. We just read the news. Yeah, I think that's what oh. happened. So we are. Can't keep this business like this. Squid City's a negative impact on our earnings. Yeah, we already read this. We already yeah. read that. Gods be praised. Gods be praised! What's that from? I know that there's a character who says that in Skyrim. That's right. That that's for that's gods be praised. I think that's what they said. <laughs> okay. So we read the news. We sure did. Let's go to work. Indeed. Sit. If this is a short one, do you want to continue after? Oh, we who was Alice? Who was Alice Rat? Who indeed? Good evening. Hey. Okay, so we've almost got everything, but we're still missing a couple of things for Saturday. And so I designate you, Gillian Applegate, as official guy who goes to buy the rest of the stuff. <laughs> That's his last name. It is now. A Apple Kids? I have no idea who that is. Why Why me? I could send Jill, but I wouldn't dare send a lady by herself. And I could go with her, but I believe the bar should have at least two people in the vicinity at all times. You're not going to say anything, Jill? Why? Why would I volunteer for shitty work? <laughs> it means not being a delivery girl. I'm happy to fake helplessness. <sighs> Fine, give me that list. I'll be back sometime. Something tells me you're planning something, boss. What gives you that impression? Call it 
a gut feeling. Did you know that Gil has a crush? He, wait, wait what? Line of his, the girl that owns a bazaar. He's been coming on to him for ages, and he's only just started opening up. <laughs> but he's taking a step backwards, and I'm not going to let him. He's opening up, for goodness sake. Oh, so he... Oh... The, the boss sent, uh, sent him to the bazaar. Ah, oh, that's cute. Mm -hmm. And so the errands will take him to the bazaar, I, th I take it. That's right. Ha. Huh. All right, then. To the office I go. As for me... Oh, also... Music! I looked for more uh, songs on Spotify. Uh-huh. Uh, let me pull up the playlist again. I can never remember where it is when I put it. Okay. Uh, what do we have? Ba -ba 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 -ba. Just doing like neck stretches. Oh. I think some of these, some of these you weren't able to find in the list, but uh, could you find Umemoto? There Umemoto. we go. Still stretching there? No, I'm. I am. I'm. I'm. I'm bouncing to the beat. Gotcha. Good. How about how all systems go? Drive me wild. What's that's a good. That's a good. That's a good music to start out with. I think. I forget what these. No. I, uh, let's just put it there. Uh, anything else? Uh, let's see. <clears throat> I think friendly conversation is one that we that wasn't there. Um, how about you've got me? You got me. You got a friend in me. Let me see. What you doing? I'm not seeing you got me. All right. Um. Why are these like missing? Do I have to buy them from the shop? Maybe. That's a possibility, I guess. Um, I think. Uh, nighttime maneuvers, I think, is one. Do we have that one on the playlist already? No, we don't. I know I've seen that one. Oh, oh, we just passed it. it. There it is. But yeah, I think part of it might be that I think some of these songs are songs that play during cutscenes because it's just oh, the oh. I've just been listening to just the soundtrack, like not uh, specifically a like the album that the soundtrack is not specifically right. the games that can be played on the jukebox. What's this one? That's one of the new ones we added. Yes. Uh, uh, Click for home. Uh, Metropolis. Karma. What's Karma Dream? Dream? Uh, that is on the playlist already. No, I'm looking at the ones I already have on the playlist. Ah. Um, the city. Which ones do we have? Follow the trail. I don't think we've heard that one. No, thank you. Uh, it's short time. You say it's no problem. Every day. Ah, where are all the songs? Okay, the song that you wanted was in page five. Um, this... Yeah, I guess while That's we're... Okay. While we're looking through songs, if you don't mind, I guess I could start talking about the, the thing that I was going to say. Sure. But yeah, so basically, uh, I don't, uh, I don't know. Okay, let me, <laughs> let me take that again. So. Yeah. Yeah. 
But yeah, so typically I, you know, back when I streamed regularly, I had a, you know, a fairly specific schedule. I would stream one game twice a week, and then I would do the collab once a week, and then I would have another game that I would do <clears throat> once a week. Sure. So sure. I sort of had a main game and a secondary game, as I put it. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. So previously, the main game was uh, Tales of Arise, and the secondary game was Arknights. Uh, so okay. once I get back into streaming regularly, I'm going to switch that around. I'm going to primarily focus on Arknights. I don't think I'm going to go straight back to streaming four times a week. So for a little bit, it might just be you know one Arknight stream a week, and also the collab each week. Okay. And so on and so forth. This game's longer than I thought it would be. Much longer. Yeah. So yeah. So anyway, I want to focus on Arc Knights because ideally, I want to reach a pretty good amount of progress in the game by the time the uh, Monster Hunter collab rolls around. Because I'm excited for that and I want to be able to play it. <laughs> right. Cool. There's also a Destiny 2 collab coming up, which I don't know when that's happening, but I'm also excited for that. <laughs> So. Okay. Yeah. Who, who's that with? Hmm? Who's that with? You said Destiny Two. Oh, the video game. I know, but I know that. But you mean like a collab in the game, or you're collabing in the with game. someone else? In the game. In the game. Okay. Like the game. The game. Arc Knights is collabing with the Destiny Two. The game Destiny Two. Oh, okay. Oh, jeez. Yes, and also yes, and also Arc Knights is collabing with Monster Hunter. Yeah, awesome. so I want to be able That's to cool. play both of those in-game collabs. Exciting. Yes. All right. That sounds like a good schedule. Do it, yeah. do it at your own pace and do it. Um, do what makes you happy. <laughs> Definitely. Um, you ready? Should be, yes. Okay. Yeah, I might just need to look into more specifically what songs are available on the jukebox and what ones aren't if I want to come up with a custom playlist for us. Yeah. Anyway. I like the songs that they pick. Thank you. Yeah. Time to change drinks and mix lives. Gil with a crush, huh? Uh, this place. Great. Oh, if it isn't... Oh, um, it's the famous, it's the, it's the famous robot yeah. idol, uh, little idol. Uh, this Miki. one, this one's you. I don't remember how I voiced her. <laughs> yeah, I don't either. <laughs> uh, so just I, go for it, I guess. I'm going to do the TikTok voice. Hey, Jill, sorry, but there's anything, anywhere I can hide. There's an unpleasant guy on my trail. Boss, stock woman incoming. The door is open. Go ahead, the door to the left. Thanks. Hello there. <laughs> oh, hi there. The other one. That's the bathroom. <laughs> what, what, what's the dog doing in the bathroom? Now, where what? did she? Oh, oh, what are you doing here, DDD? Man, we're seeing we're seeing some uh, some old faces again, huh? Ugh, oh, a nightmare. Perfect. Hey, kid, all of the usual. All right. Remember me after two weeks. All right, big big beer. Big beer. And all mixed. It's all okay. Just only mixed. Okay. Just mixed. Don't need to blend that beer. Okay. Here. This seems right. Papers have messed us lately. You'd think with all that's happening, they'd stay and do more reports. But they're all asking for vacations, and I can't afford to be understaffed. So I had to come up with some sort of reward for whoever produced the most reports. Are you needing more pictures? Pick pictures of Cyberman. <laughs> I cracked myself up. I see no difference <laughs> in my good. feed, though. Uh, Mr. Donovan, I don't mean to sound rude, but 
you do know the infamy of the augmented eye with the general public, right? Terrible page with over well, that will over eventually. Yeah, it was there. Let me take that again. <laughs> Terrible page that will over sensationalize anything and report useless things. Mr. Donovan, are you drunk? A well, little already. bit. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, so, I'm glad he's. I'm glad he knows his um his audience and he knows what content he's producing. Yes, that's that's very nice. Of course, I know. Then why not try to rectify that image? Put it simply, I'm being clutched in the not pleasant way. <laughs> the Ibatsu Corp and company have an eye on every publication they haven't bought yet. Board on them once and they'll find something to find you with. Twice and you'll find your resources severely cut. Anything beyond that? The best case scenario is that they'll buy the operation to keep it quiet. But the Securities and Exchanges Commission and all that doesn't exist in this universe. It's just at monopolies. Least, <laughs> at least not here in Glitch City, which seems to be, you know, a city-state unto itself. Gotcha. I know that there are more newsworthy things than whatever it is the lackeys picked out that week. But if I overstep, I'm on the line. Huh. Glad to see this nightmare is still in one piece. Why is it a nightmare? <laughs> it's, it looks I'm, fine. It looks fine. What are you? Why do you call this a nightmare? He's just a. Why he's just a. He's a, not a nice man. No, he's not. We know this. He's very rude. We he's we know very this. Rude. <laughs> BTC has been going ape closing bars lately. <laughs> I'm very giggly. I'm very giggly right now. Oh, At yeah, least you're that. having a good time. I am. <laughs> anyway. Yesterday they closed one that served as a key part of a drug trafficking ring. <laughs> oh, I really... How you doing? How you doing? I, I, I have recovered from the sauce. Uh, quite exceptionally, might I add. Uh, you're sleepy. Oh... This is a good stream to sleep to. It's just a bunch of text. I mean, that's a good that's a good sleeping stream. I'm glad you chose me to go to sleep to. And also How's me. work? Oh, what's up? I was, I was just saying I'm I'm here too. Oh. <laughs> yes, my friend. I'm, I'm not trying. This happened last time. I'm not trying this. I know. I know. I know. I'm, I'm joking. I'm joking. I, my, mm, I'm off until the Stanley Cup Finals. Ah, so you do. That's, so, uh, that's the football talk, one, right? Ah. Uh, so, so, so uh, pardon my friend. He, uh, he's from the future. That, that, that kind of information kind of slips through the cracks sometimes. It's that's hockey. It's hockey. Okay, it's hockey. Yeah, okay. Okay. I, yes. I legitimately was not sure. <laughs> That oh, was not was a bit. I was playing it off as a bit. Come on! Come on! <laughs> work with me here! <laughs> well, here's um, the thing. If I say that it's not a bit, then that's me confirming what you just said, because what you're saying is that I don't know. <laughs> it still would have been funny. Anyway, uh, Rook, does that mean you don't have a salary anymore? <laughs> I mean... Uh, what? Oh, hi. Did I say something stupid? Also, Rook says you're not joking. It does. Uh, I got a man. That sucks. Oh, I'm sorry, Rook. I'm so sorry. Mm. Uh, I my my place is hiring. It's a global multi-state corporation. Soul is like the one you're seeing on the screen right now. Um, so uh, if you like that, I can uh, I can hook you up. And they moved me into another sport, which they didn't last year. Oh, I'm sorry, Rook. Uh, well, good luck with that. Um, hope I can help you relax. Let's uh, let's focus on the game so we can help Rook relax. Indeed. <laughs> uh, what, what, did you already read this? I did. <clears throat> okay. And last week, they closed three small bars that served as illegal chicken restaurants. 
illegal chickens? Illegal Are chickens, like, yes. Is that like a mountain turtle? Maybe. I. Oh wait, a mountain chicken. Uh, it, it, you know, a mountain. There, there, there's a TikTok about like where it's like, have you ever heard of a mountain chicken? And the guy's like, please don't hurt me. Have you ever heard of a mountain chicken? <laughs> and he shows a picture of it, and it looks like a, it's like a turtle or a frog or something. I think it's a frog. frog. It's like it's a frog. That's what I said. <laughs> it's good work. I'm down. I'm helping Derp shop for a new PC, so I got to make a new build. Oh, cool. That's cool. Nice. Um, yeah. Like, are we talking water cooled? Uh, state of the art, thirty-two core, uh, monster, or just like one that can play Minecraft? Two terabytes of RAM. <laughs> well, my, that's not a good example because Minecraft can run RTX. Or, or, or Minecraft can run like RTX. Minecraft can destroy computers. We're talking budget. Gotcha, gotcha. That still can. That still could be decent. That still be can be decent. But yeah, good luck with that. Uh, um, that's cool. I haven't built a computer in like four years. So well, for me too, huh? Yeah, it's been a when while. Did I build my computer? Well, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, uh, video game. Right. Uh, I've got a build that I'm working on for me. That's about a thousand. So I'm looking forward to build. Yeah, that's mm. a good price. That's a decent price that can play most games and stream at the same time. Yeah, that's cool. Huh. Not to mention, there are like a hundred people who have BTC certificates but never use them. Instead, they keep those credentials around to stop police from raiding their homes or warehouses. Oh, I don't know about you, but it's obvious to me that some restructuring will begin after the BTC after this whole thing. Restructuring. I hate that word. Ugh. I get, like, real talk, I get, like, in real life emails from corporate up, upper 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 management it's like mm -hmm. we're gonna have to do some restructuring because of uh of, of some economical stress that's been plaguing the united states and blah, 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 blah. i'm like oh, is that gonna hit me please don't I the executives so the executives at the explosion factory must be pretty pretty <laughs> tight aren't they <laughs> yeah it's just it's just a factory that produces explosions yes, yes. no no <laughs> Yes, yes, exactly. My, I'm my own boss and I have to do some restructuring. I might have to fire myself. <laughs> Man, shit's ran deeper than I thought. And no news outlets talking about it. All right, kid, let's try Moonblast now. Come again? Hey, even I have to break the routine from time to time. Does he want a big one? He just said Moonblast. Oh, okay. He said it's a break from routine, so. If he complains about it, I'm going to be so upset. On the rocks and blended. And blended, yes. If he if he complains about this, I'm, mm, I'm done with Donovan. He'll find da a way Dan to complain about anything. Uh, Daniel D. Donovan. Here you go. Now, let's see what the ruckus is about. Um... So, what brought you here? Oh, right. Didn't you see a Lilum coming in here? Nope, nope, not at all. Uh, no Miku-looking people. Nope, not at all. Blue hair. Real nice hair. <laughs> Blue hair. R really good hair. <laughs> She's the one from the Encore concert coming up. No, not really. Jump to the roof, then? Why were you looking for her? Did you want an interview? Not really. Just hitting on her. Wow, this guy's a scumbag! Super scummy bag! We've, we have known this. This is known. Hey, I said hitting on her, not hitting her. Stop glaring. We, we you know what you said. Both would be equally... Well, not equally bad, but... One's a lot worse than the other, but... It's still bad. Why, though? Are you that bored? Don't you have, like, a family or something? Don't you have a business to run? Are you seeing that girl? Ah, 
Hot. <laughs> so hot. But very hot. Very attractive. Very attractive woman. Hot. Lamb. <laughs> hot. <laughs> <laughs> You know, hot. Like, what about her is hot, Mr. Donovan? Can you describe something about her that is hot, Mr. Donovan? Well, obviously, her cooling unit. <laughs> gotta keep, gotta keep the heat out of the, the essential systems. I like the shape of her chassis. Oh God, it gets me. So, it goes, makes me go wild. I like her. I like her 30 millimeter fans and her water cooling system. Oh my god. <laughs> use, they, they use Corsair products. She uses Corsair products. <laughs> she has an NVIDIA. She has an NVIDIA 6090. RTX. Yeah. God damn. Okay, uh, are you gonna say the sentence, or is it too wild? Is it too is it too wild for a Tiberius? I don't I don't know a way that I can that I can make this into a funny joke <laughs> in my usual way. Uh, I'm suffering the weirdest combo of being a, 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 a case of the. The case of the vapors and curious as, as all get out right now. <laughs> I gotta make this into a bit a TikTok. Oh my god! I gotta Please make do. this into a TikTok. That's gonna be great. Sit. <laughs> I want to know just how much RAM she's got personally. <laughs> she better not be running 16 gigabytes that's too low for me <laughs> yeah 64 gigs or nothing ooh but if she's got 128 mm. now we're talking <laughs> now we know why Donovan's such a such a, a creep he's a, one of those Hardware elitist. Right. Like, I hate AMD. Fuck AMD. It's the worst, worst part manufacturer on, on, on the, on Gl in Glitch City. <laughs> it's NVIDIA and Intel are bust. <laughs> and so you followed her. I have yet to meet a woman that can resist the charms of Donovan D. Dawson. Oh, that that's his name. Donovan D. Don Dawson. I mean, you're talking to a woman who can resist the charms of Donovan D. Donson right now. Yeah, she can just erase you from her memory. Like, if anything. I've been mean, resist the charms. Oh my god, this scumbag. This 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 chauvinistic piece of shit. Um, this music reminds me of... So. This, this This music reminds me of Ligma? Is that what you're saying? Luna? Luna's dice? Luna's Luna's... That, that's not a Ligma, right? It's not, it's, not, it's not Ligma. It's a video okay. game. Okay, it is an actual... <laughs> okay. I have to be careful. I, uh, else I add to the Ligma counter, and I don't want to do that. <laughs> Can we get the 69 Ligmas, chat? Uh, this music reminds me... Of, what, what is Lunastis? I'll buy it. It's a video Lunas game. This. About what? It's About, a PSX-style uh... platformer where you play as a cute anime fox. Nice. I like platformers. I, nice. I, I, I grew up with that shit. I, I'm, I'm, is it like a new game, or is it was it from the era of the PlayStation? Yeah. Bum, 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 bum. I'll have to check it out. Apparently, it was released on Steam in 2022, at least. Oh, okay. That that's recent. It's new. You're in front of one, and I'm guessing you have quite the selective memory. Like I said, don't you have a family or something? A wife. That woman cheats on me as much as I cheat on her. 
There's nothing good here. No. Uh, I, I, be, be, everyone, um, fair warning. Not not really a fair warning, but like mid mid game warning. Uh, this game goes into dark topics that might be not be suitable for all ages, all people of uh, of varying sensitivities. Viewer discretion is advised. Let's continue the game. We need to remember to give that disclaimer before we start, huh? Yes. But yeah. Anyway, Donovan D. Dawson is definitely a dirtbag. Yes. He, he owns a company. He owns a huge journalism company. He owns a news outlet. And this guy is an asshole. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, gu I guess that, I guess that, that kind of tracks. Because he's supposed to be like a analog to um, the Spider-Man guy. I forget. J. Jonah his... Jameson. Yeah, yeah, James Jonah Jameson. He's supposed to be a J. Jonah Jameson. J. Jonah Jameson's was... a decent guy, though, isn't he? If I remember correctly. I, I mean, he's just uh, he's just a hard ass. He's not an asshole like For this sure. guy. Yeah. He's just like J. Jonah Jameson is a super hard ass. But this guy's just a sleazeball. I will I will I will confess I have never read a Spider-Man comic. He he just wants pictures, pictures of Spider-Man. Mm -hmm. He doesn't know that he's talking to Spider-Man. Mm -hmm. And that's the that's the joke. That's that's the emphasis of that joke. Mm. Uh um He's a good guy, but irrationally upset at Spider-Man's existence. Right. Mm. For some reason, he's really upset that this guy's creating news for him. I'm I'm literally shaking. That's like he's doing he's doing you guys a favor by creating news. But he's an like, unhinged vigilante. He's stupid. <laughs> he doesn't believe that someone with that much power would act in a worthy moral code. But yeah. The news doesn't care if it's making news headlines and people are talking about it. That that's what's going to make the money. I mean, yes. Why would the man? The man so can have principles. He can have principles, but this guy that he's reporting to probably some board of directors who's saying, "Make me more money," and it's like, okay, that's my job. I understand that. I understand that that's my job. Spider-Man, continue existing because that's my job. <laughs> I mean, to be fair. Like a murderer, it also creates news, but you don't want but you don't want a murderer to be murdering. Sure. So, if Spider Man does come out as a murderer, then yeah, that's bad for him. Um, he's, uh, so you say it's a good game, five dollars recommend it. Go check it out. My phone. It's called Lunastus. Lunas. Lunastus. Yep, like Solstice, but with the moon. Oh, she cute. Oh, who did? Oh, they're very cute. I don't know their gender. I don't care. They're very cute. Main protagonist is adorable. Why have I never heard of this before? Developer is a grumpy fox. Dude, this has hot and time feels to it. Nice. And this is only five bucks. Have we suddenly changed what game we're collabing today? Yeah, th yeah, we are. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, how can the, this looks better than friggin' that one game with a lizard and the fuck ukulele? Yes, <laughs> thank you. No problem. Oh, this brings back memories. The textures, everything looks like a PlayStation game. And she, the main character is very, very, because she's very cute. Anyway, what am I doing? We're playing a game. We are playing a game. Wait, I'm glad right? you noticed. <laughs> okay. Sorry. I'm pretty sure she gets off on the thought of me cheating on her. What the fuck? In fact, I'm pretty sure she's an AMD fan. That chipset sucks ass. I would never thread ripper, more like fart ripper. <laughs> oh god. I actually made a good joke. That was a good joke. Laugh. <laughs> so that Lilum isn't here, huh? I'll have to find a I'll have to find a new graphics card tonight, or I won't be able to play the new Dark Souls game. <laughs> Dark Souls 8. Uh, 
Elden Souls 8. R Return of Elmo. I don't know. Hey, after you're done glaring, please serve me a pile driver. Done glaring? I'm glaring at your stupidity. I've tuned you out. Let's, let's, give, let's just give him a pile driver, literally. Um, fine. Man, suddenly I had the I had the the thought of imagining imagining the world where the reason that where everything that all the weird tangents and substitutions that we that we have are going on in Jill's mind because she just doesn't want to pay attention to a lot of these people. Right. And I feel really bad for Jill because she's enabling this person's bad behavior by get, making him drunk. And he's going to find some uh, some a poor woman and harass her. Like fuck. He would do Here. that sober. He, yeah, you're right. He would do that sober. You're, you're you're absolutely right. But this just makes it worse. All right. That's yeah. Sorry about that. I wasn't paying attention to when my lines came up. I think anyway. you had too much, Mr. Donovan. Well, seeing as she's not here, I have no reason to stay. Yeah, please leave. Eh, maybe I'll find someone who looks a bit like her. I'm glad he doesn't find Jill attractive. Because, uh, wait, didn't he hit on us before? And I was maybe? like, we play for the other team. <laughs> like, no, I don't, I don't swing that way. I, 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 I bat, I bat left field. If you understand what I'm saying. I seem to remember someone did at one point, but I don't think it was Donovan. I think it was the, 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 the red haired, um, Ingram? Uh, yeah, Ingram. I think it was Ingram. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah. I think I think Donovan's always just been kind of, just kind of condescending, yeah. mostly. It's like if I Jill doesn't have big tits, so he doesn't give a fuck. It's disgusting. Anyway, the guy left. Oh, oh, all right. Uh, I'll, uh, again, everyone, I'm voicing her with the TikTok voice. Thanks for sheltering me, Dana. Hope your sister likes the video. No, thank you. Seems you had a hearty talk. Your boss is such a fun person. Her sister is a fan of mine, so I recorded a small video for her and took a couple of photos. Ah, a TikTok. <laughs> It all comes full circle. <laughs> this string is so wacky. How nice of you. It's nothing, really. And she did hide me, so it's the least I could do. But, well, we're here already. Mind giving me something sweet? Sure. Miss Idol wants something sweet. Blue Fairy. Blue Fairy. Very, very appropriate. It matches the color scheme, if nothing else. Yeah, aged and mixed. Yep, aged and mixed. Okay. Aged and mixed. Here. Thanks. So do you know why Donovan was following you? I don't, but I wasn't in the mood to deal with him. His questions were a bit over the line last time, too. Not the worst I've dealt with, but I just don't want to humor him. I see. Doesn't doesn't she, like, let people into her house and steal her panties and shit? She definitely mentioned letting someone break into her house at one point, yes. It's, just, it's so weird. She's so weird. Seems like he, she was ju he was just trying to come on to you. And even she doesn't like Donovan, so that, that tells you a lot about Donovan, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh, you don't say. Well, not like he'd have a chance anyways. I'm not into older guys, and I'm already committed to a relationship. Figure, wait, wait, you are? It's not common knowledge, and the ones that hear it try to dismiss it as rumors, but... I've been on a relationship with my producer for a while. Isn't that taboo? Isn't that like nepotism? It's not kind of like corporate. You know what? I, I'm not necessarily. 
I don't think. It depends on... Maybe? I don't know. I don't think so. Because, like, a producer is not, like, necessarily, like, an executive or anything. Huh. I'm going to say it's nepotism. Really? We were both single. And that kind of stuff is bound to happen when you spend so much time to... Producer hardly knows her! Uh, my soundboard isn't working, but... Padum Tish! Thank you, Rook the Knight. But... It all started when he read an entry I made in my blog about wanting to experience love and the like. He offered to help with that after he read it and I thought, sure, why not? I already knew him well enough. It wouldn't hurt to try. H how nice. He's a stick in the mud when planning is due, but he's a sweetheart otherwise. I see. You know, I've met two fans of yours lately. Really? Both of them seemed so excited when they were talking about you. It was amazing. Ha 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 ha. I don't like the term fan too much. It strikes me as a bit pretentious, in my opinion. I have many fans. Doesn't sit so well. I like many people to, who like my music better. Same meaning, different, different context, I guess. Fan evokes an ugly... Yeah, that's what I'm... Let's see exactly. She's explaining it. Mm -hmm. And more pretentious for image for me. Do you like what I do, Jill? Do you like my music? To be honest, I haven't had much exposure to your work, but the few things I've heard are really good. I'm not going to lie. Having talked to you, I feel like I would have support you even if I didn't like it. So nice to hear. Hey, this will sound familiar, but do you have anything like tea? Let me see. Something tea-like. I remember correctly, something bitter, but girly is fine, too. Hmm. We don't have any bottled drinks to that effect, do we? No. No. Bitter, but girly. That's sweet. Sweet. Sour. Bitter. I just want to make sure. Moon glass? No. I think this is the only one that's bitter and girly, I think. So there's the, uh, the Sunshine Cloud Gut Punch Grizzly Temple. Um, mm, mm. Sunshine Cloud seems to be the only, like, real candidate, as far as I can tell. Yeah, I just want to make sure we get the best ending. Mm -hmm. so yeah, I feel like a Sunshine Cloud without Karma Trend, maybe, because tea is not alcoholic. True. Unless it's a Shirley... Unless it's a... Shirley Temple? Dirty Shirley? Is, a, Long I, a Long Island iced tea is, is alcoholic. Fair. I guess. And I was thinking, like, tea as in just, like, hot tea, not like a cocktail involving tea. Because anything is alcoholic if you add alcohol to it. One second. One second. So yeah. So I don't yeah, what I what I mean when I say that tea is not alcoholic is that like they're it isn't sort of alcoholic by default, I suppose, I should say. But I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna make this I'm gonna make this for her. Mm-hmm. Alright. Uh-huh. Bronson extract. Optional car no 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 on the option. rocks and blended. On the rocks and blended. Mm -hmm. Here, I'm gonna Okay. Can we save it? Or can't we we can only save during the break. We can only save during the break, yes. Okay. 
Yeah, this works. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's that's an affirmative answer. It's... Okay. I know it's an affirmative answer, <laughs> but it's not what she wants. You're sure? Because um, uh, I, I, I have a premonition that that is not a uh, uh, quote unquote that that's not what she needs. Fair enough. You're king hey, you're a king class Chia pet, right? That I am. May I ask you something about your model? Sure. Are there any differences between you and the delicious flat chest 72? Hmm. We both serve the same purpose, but <laughs> delicious flat chest 72 have the port on their heads, which make them more versatile. My line lacks that or the resilience of the DT 01Ds, but we're a tad more polished elsewhere. More specifically, our voice emulators are more. Oh, shoot. She must have a bug. <laughs> Voice she's, emulators. She's tired from all the singing she's done. Obviously. Yes. Oh, man. Uh, uh, yeah, all the singing. Mm. She turned off her speaking. advanced voice synthesis unit in order to be able to blend in with the crowd better. Yes. A trade-off of functionality and power for appearance, you could say. Ah, oh, I see. So, anything new for this concert? Hmm. Well, it is an encore, so we're trying to make it for the same for those that couldn't go to the first one. But we always try to spice it up, like maybe with a surprise song or something. There was this one time I sang a cover of a song by B-Link. Of course, in return, they sang Your Love is a Drug. Ah, wait, we have that. Jukebox? We do have that. I don't know that we have that in the jukebox right now, but we do have oh. that song. Do you know the Bailey girls? Really nice kids. You'd be surprised how different from their onstage personas they are. Really? Suzu, for example, can be really childish at times. She also laughs a lot, and loudly at that. Meanwhile, Aina is a party girl through and through. If I, they're not on tour, she spends her time partying like crazy. Huh, hard to believe. I mean, their image is that of stoic girls with little expression. Almost like living Victorian dolls or something. Well, they wanted to pop out in, in the public. They once told me, if we want people to notice us, we have to break the cutesy idol concept. So they took the opposite route by becoming cool beauties, which with melan melancholic songs. I wouldn't say they went the opposite way. The opposite of cutesy dolls would be unkempt, tone-deaf girls spewing vitriol and hate. True, I guess. Well, I've got to go, but let's have a Sparkle Star first. All right. A Sparkle Star from S Idol. Uh, Sparkle Star. Idol Hide, Powder Delta. Let's not get her drunk. All aged and mixed. All aged and mixed. Here. Sparkling! Well, it's always a pleasure, Jill. Please come again. Will do. Oh, the handsome bartender. Nice to see you. Um, uh... Boss, skills back. I'll take my break. All right. Now, this is what we're going to do, all right? Mm -hmm. We're going to pretend that the first hour of this entire stream we didn't play the game mm -hmm. we're going to uh pretend that we're, we're going to sp we're doing a speed run instead so we're going to uh save it there we're going to go back to this save and play that one mm -hmm. i'm not going to read that i'm not i'm not i'm not reading that I'm not reading it not reading what there's no dialogue on screen because we haven't started yet i just remembered i need to buy something from the shop Oh, do we? I think we already bought the yeah, we already bought the Maneki Neko. Oh, did we? Did we buy the uh, Mulan tea, though? Ah. That's what we needed. Ah, uh, right. How could I forget? 
Yes. <laughs> uh, uh, let's go to work. Anyway. Man, I sure hope we don't see Donovan D. Dawson again today. What do you mean, again? This is hmm? the first time we're playing. I didn't say again. I said today. Today? Oh. Well, that, that, I, I thought I, I'm pretty sure you said again, but okay. Even if I said ah. again, you know, we have met him before. Oh, yeah, you're right. I hope we don't see that guy again. I hope he's not perving on any women. That would be that would be real shame. Mm -hmm. Let's speed run. You want to speed run this time? Let's speed run. Oh, wait, we have to put on the music. You said it was... Um... Uh, we won't worry about it right now. Okay. Oh, my God, it's that guy. Oh, you had to bring it into existence. Come Man. on. Come on. Do I really want this guy's ending? I don't think I want it. <laughs> I want to fail this ending. Uh, uh, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All mixed. All, all mixed. All mixed. He wants a moon blast. Moon blast. Fix Adelheid. One Delta, one Flanner Guide, and two Karmachin. Man, this All doesn't seem like the sort of thing that he'd order, huh? Oh, forgot about the rocks. Alright, oh, that's seven. Too much Adelheid. <laughs> one Powder Delta, one Flanner Guide, two Karmachin. Rocks. Rocks and Blended. blended. What if I just serve that to him? Like, Here you go, here's your slop. Here's your shattered glass. And he wanted the pile driver. Okay. Pile driver. Pile driver. Uh, four commentary. All mixed. Oh, oh wow, it's our good friend. Our good friend oh, wow! Kiyomiki. Wow, I, I can't believe she's here. I feel like she'd enjoy a blue fairy. That seems like a good choice. Yeah, let's not get her drunk either. Uh, Aged mm -hmm. and mixed. Aged and mixed. There. Thanks! Something tea like, huh? Hmm. Well, I got the thing for you! <laughs> wow! He's pretty tea like, That's... yeah. That is very tea like, isn't it? There you go. <laughs> Here. Perfect. Hey, you're a king cloud. Okay. All right. That's all we needed to do. Nice. That's all. That's literally all we needed to do for her ending. Here we go. Sparkle, Sparkle star. star. So if you didn't do that, you would have to look it up probably because I'll give her one thing of alcohol. Mm -hmm. Aged and mixed. Oh. So if you didn't do that, you have to be look it up and like, well, how, where, how do I do this? How do I do this? Sparkling. Oh, it's always a pleasure. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. All right. Now we're going to save it again. What do you mean save it again? We're we're done with the facade. <laughs> we're, <laughs> we're done with the facade. Note to self: buy oil for that door. Okay. Um, oh, yes, we added nighttime maneuvers and Umemoto. I don't think I don't know that we added any others. Um, Umemoto. Oh, there it is. Uh, which one was one that was like? I got thing. I got rid of Sinistitch. I got, got that. Yeah. Okay. Right. All right then. <laughs> <laughs> Gil, you're in my spot, please. Oh, sorry. Also, you're cleaning one of the boss's chicken buckets. Did boss ask you to do that? If I told you she did, would you believe me? Without a doubt. <laughs> yeah, that seems pretty Dana. Let's go with that then. Right. 
Greetings. Ah, Stella, what can I get you? I'll go with a Bleeding Jane today. A Bleeding Jane for Stella. Indeed we go. All blended. All blended. Mm -hmm. I like Steen Stella. She does. Or, it, yeah, she's nice, yes. Yeah, she's very nice. Here you go. <clears throat> Thank you. Yeah. What brought you here today? Waiting for a say? I came by myself, actually. I was in the area and stopped to say hi. Oh. It's pretty interesting, though. When I first saw you, I doubted you'd ever come here again. Well, this place is comfortable, I must admit. So quiet and secluded. It's also clean. Really clean. Uh, Gil is the one you can hold that one to. The guy takes pride in how clean he keeps things around here. If you ever need cleaning staff, he's a nice pick. Really. Hmm. 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 He's a bit out of it today, though. I see. Hey, Jill. Have you heard of the new gold rush in the city? Gold rush? Everyone is paying small fortunes to get their hands on pieces of white knight suits. It's kind of disgusting, really. I think I heard that one. I think I heard or read something about that. But I'm having doubts, so probably not. In any case, how is it a gold rush? Well... The tech behind the suits was always safely guarded. But after the events at the bank... <sighs> Sorry. After the events at the bank, the suits were remotely shut down, breaking many of them into the process. Many units dropped their armor right there and fled when the lynchings went on. Any white knight still stuck in their suit had to take the armor off manually and run away. It all happened in the middle of the lynchings. So there would be sitting ducks if they didn't. Some weren't that lucky. They got beaten up while they weren't able to move. Some, between the suits becoming glorified paperweights, and many white knights going on the run. There ended up being a lot of junk running around. But the whole scientific community is rejoicing. They're on the race to reverse engineer the suits and take as much technology as possible from them. And of course, even single pieces of the armor fetch a high price these days. Could anyone see any profit from that research to justify these expenses? It's new tech. A whole new field ripe with patents just open for many. So I'd say yes. Huh. I mean, the BTC is literally a conglomerate built upon patents and trademarks. I can see how. There is one weird case, though. Mm -hmm. There's this guy named Jack. He's the captain of a very unique Blitzkrieg Corps unit. Unique? The guy had a really small unit. Five people, including himself. The aesthetics of his unit's armor was heavily modded to the point that they looked like a squad of henchmen heroes. <laughs> Power Rangers? Indeed. <laughs> we got power. Nice. <laughs> and Jenico go, baby. And what? <clears throat> they look really gaudy. <laughs> ah, she's a nerd. She's a nerd. <laughs> <clears throat> they look really gaudy. But it turned out that the guy actually broke through the software and disabled the remote switch. He has one of the few, if not the only, suits of armor with the OS intent. Say they're among the most wanted people would be an understatement. You know a lot about this. It's interesting, the amount of things you hear when dealing with drunk people of all kinds in the same place. It also helps to put in the front that makes people lower their guard. That should sound familiar to you. True. <laughs> Wait. Here's a freebie. A fun fact. The failsafe was originally going to involve the armor blowing up and leaving no traces. That would be bad for the occupant, huh? <laughs> yes. But regulations and laws didn't allow that kind of technology near civilians. Like even, I guess even Zaibatsu Corps had the, its limits, huh? People love to de demonize Zaibatsu Corps because, well, let's face it, 
They're far from innocent. But they're not evil overlords. They're just greedy. They're just a big corporation. They just so happen to have control over what tantamounts to a city-state. Uh, but corporations will naturally resort to draconian methods. I've heard horror stories from people outside the city about trying to use product placement. If you so much as hold a bottle the wrong way, or get in the way of a logo, you'll be in for lots of trouble. And let's not start with theme parks or the like. These, are, those are dystopias of their own. What the fuck? Disney World is just a, it's just a fucking uh, Blade Runner hellscape. <laughs> I imagine like the safety controls at Disney World were like removed so they can make whatever crazy uh, theme park attraction they wanted. <laughs> as long as they don't explode near civilians, that seems to be the line that they draw. Right. No reg regulatory control. No, no red tape. No nothing. Just do whatever you want as long as it doesn't hurt people. Uh, intentionally. <laughs> then again, most of the demonization is due to the Quincy being such a clown. He has no power anyways. He's just the front of that whatever council behind Zaibatsu Corp chose. My my stupid... Mm, my mm. work laptop is making noises again. Uh-oh. Whatever. He makes a fool of himself and the attention is taken away from whatever it is that Zaibatsu Corp is actually doing. <laughs> yeah. So what you're saying is that Glitch City is basically a huge theme park? I've called the White Knights glorified mall security in the past. So yeah. Hmm. No, seriously. And what? <clears throat> Can I get a Brantini here, please? Sure, sure. Now let's give her a Brantini. Let us indeed. I'm so I'm very happy that in the far future with 2060 whatever that um you know like Beetleborgs and like Power Rangers are still exist. That's great. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I like gotta Carmen say I've Wright. never heard I've never heard of Beetleborgs before. Oh, they they, they you Beetleborgs use um Common Rider. Uh, it's like Power Rangers, but they use Common Rider footage. Mm. Does that make Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. So they just use repurpose. They they repurpose old Japanese, um, uh, common writer footage and then make a weird American story about it. Localized gotcha. American story. Yeah. So yeah. Out of the two, I prefer common writer by far. I like I like the wacky storylines that they get into. Mm -hmm. It's more adult. It, it's weird. It's weird to say that it's more adult oriented, but it really is. Age and mixed. <laughs> I don't know if are you familiar with um, are you familiar with uh, uh, Common Rider? I've never seen Common Rider, but I'm aware of it and the general premise of the series. Right. <laughs> um, yeah, basically, Henshin Henshin Warrior transforms into a Beetle Man and uh, can switch out its power. It's not like a team; it's just one guy usually. Yeah. <clears throat> Generally and, speaking, uh, yes, and they usually have like a motorcycle. Yeah. Yeah, like a motorcycle. Yeah. And what's really cool about it is that they like they switch out. They have multiple powers, so they have like like thunder powers, so they get lightning powers all of a sudden, and it's like fire power. And they use these cards. Sometimes they use like these cards. Sometimes they use watches. Sometimes they use belts. It just it just depends on the story because it's not a continuous like series. It's like every every version of Common Rider is its own thing. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. I'm, yeah, I'm gushing. The closest I've got to that is I've seen a little bit of one series of Ultraman. Okay, that's uh, that's old. That's the, that's the OG. That's the OG man. Yeah, I think. Unless oh, it was a relatively uh, recent series, at least within the okay. last decade or so. Well, I'm just saying that it, that's what started. That's like the granddaddy ah, of the gotcha. genre, uh, of the Super Sentai uh, genre. Mm. That's cool. That's cool. B uh, big man can get bigger. Uh, the hero that gets bigger and fight big monsters. Mm -hmm. Basically, that's what it is. 
a hero of the week uh, a hero of the week anime show that like you mean monster really an of the anime. week monster, did i say anime of the week i you meant said, monster of the week you said hero of the week well that's what common writer is basically it's like it, every season is a new hero so it's well, yeah, the hero of the season. there's not a there's not a season every I, week i know i know i know i'm uh, i i am i am speaking in hyperbole <laughs> Anyway, video games. Here. Thanks. So I take it you're in a good mood today. Does it show? A bit. Yeah, well. I managed to nab a couple of tickets to the Kira Mickey concert to, uh, Encore concert. Nice. Oh, right. As it turns out, she was just here. Uh, again? <clears throat> Sorry. Again? I can't believe I just missed her. I was surprised too. I was more surprised to remember my name though. And like last time, she was quite the graceful client. Man, so those rumors about her being really nice in person were actually true? Amazing. I mean, you've always wanted the famous people to be nice in real life. You never really want to meet your heroes, generally speaking. Mm -hmm. um, because because you have this so a parasocial idea of what they are and it turns out they're kind of like they're not I'm not saying that they're assholes but they're like they don't fit your vision they're human beings like, they're human beings they and have not human the troubles. image that you have constructed in your mind correct correct so but having such backing to that claim to hear that she's so nice to everyone it's nice to hear you know in fact many think that's what made her so famous so quickly how she's so down to earth and totally accessible, making her someone everyone wants to root for. Ah, I see. Yeah, I mean, I guess you don't want to feel like you're supporting crappy people. Although, to be honest, I've never put so much thought into that one. Hell, half the time I have no idea who made what I use, nor do I care much. Being a nice person will take you far, though. My daddy always insisted that being ruthless in the boardroom doesn't mean being an ass. And he has actually managed to be, uh, get certain contracts over other more powerful people. All thanks to being a nice guy overall. This sounds like good advice. But more importantly, Daddy? <laughs> you keep on doing... You keep on doing Freudian slips there. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Stella. <laughs> Do you really believe me saying she was just here that easily? You're not want the kind to of lie about stuff like that, so sure. Thanks, I guess. That said, can you go to the concert so easily? What about security and the like? My dad always has a unit keeping an eye on me from a distance. And you'd be surprised at how easily I can disguise myself with just a different hairdo and cap. But I love your drills! She has one right nice. here. She has one right here. And she has one back here! <gasps> she has three drills! She might have more. That's... She might have more! Given the angle, and... there could be there could be a four. Wow, you're right. This is unprecedented. <laughs> <laughs> She's a trendsetter. I wonder if I could get into the disabled line with Say and her wounds. Although she's probably nagged me about how she doesn't need it, and we shouldn't abuse that. <laughs> hey, can you give me a classic drink? Sure. I can do that. Uh, I mean, I don't want to give her a beer. Mm -hmm. Let's just give her a frothy water. I feel bad. She wanted something classic. Wait, how much is a beer? That's 150. That 200. I get 50 more bucks if I serve this to her. You do? Oh. Well, it's an extract. Planner guide. Carmatron. All mixed. Sounds like my dog's getting a little bit fussy. Oh, no. Oh, puppy. Here. Thank you. Do you have many servants around the house, Stella? I do, but they've been 
with us for so long, they're pretty much family. My dad has always said if you earn so much trust, they'll gleefully work for you, and everyone wins. Oh, sorry. We even had a young gardener that left to study engineering, and he actually came back. He still comes by every weekend to tend to plants. Man, that sounds really nice. Let me know if you ever heard or if you're ever in need of a job. I might find you something. Thanks for the offer. Wait. Mm -hmm. I just realized something's off with the whole tech gold rush story. What would it be? Wait, so wouldn't all that tech be patented anyways? I get trying to track it in the first place, but that would be true if the tech was patented in the first place. It isn't? Zaibatsu Corp has been so paranoid about making the White Knights untouchable that it never patented anything. I mean, that makes sense. Yeah, if, you patent, if, you, if you patent something, you have to dis explain how it works. Yeah. And Don't you have, so, to like, you have to, like, submit, like, you know, yeah, how it works and, like, how it's built and all that, I think. Yes. And so, I think, like, if you patent something, you have to explain how it works, how it's designed, and what its purpose is for. So... Yeah. And about, I don't know how long the, the, the patent period lasts in this universe. So it could, I don't know, it, it probably was reduced. I don't know. It could have been reduced to a, a point where um, they could rip it off really mm -hmm. quickly. So that's why they probably did that. Isn't, isn't like WD-40 or something, isn't that also like not patented for the same reason? I know that uh, there was like it, some sort of common household good that has uh, that uh wasn't patented so they could keep the uh keep it like completely secret or something like that uh, wd-40 i think is a trade secret more than a patent um, oh yeah that's what i'm saying there's yes it's not patented right so yeah i think that's how <laughs> yeah i think that i think that's true as well yes oh i gotta address the lumbar support of my mm -hmm. chair I'm going shrimp mode. Mm. There we go. There we go. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay. What do we got? Okay. The Zaibatsu core has been so apparent. Okay, yeah. A patent would be in the database that someone could hack and retrieve valuable info from. But that, what, well, no. Uh, uh, Stella, listen. I don't know who, de who developed this game, but that's not how that works. <laughs> Uh, patents are freely available information from the start. That's even worse. Uh, but why would they need... If patents are secret, then what's the point of a patent? Yeah. <laughs> oh, my my face recognition failed for a second. Let's just assume that Stella doesn't know very much about patent law. Right. Not to mention that they've been using tech from other companies without any authorization. Oh. Well, that's a big no-no. And no patent registry in their right mind would approve of that global shutdown signal. Let alone how to, it, it mobilized everyone still inside one of those suits. So the ones that been, were upholding the law did so using suits that were all, by all means illegal. The irony runs deep, wouldn't you say? Why, why do it, though? When you have so much money, you start thinking you can screw around with the rules. All that power makes you think you're above every law there is. And this city is what happens when those with money start making the rules. I'm curious, though. Have you ever covered up any fuck-ups by using money? I think we've all done things we're not too proud of at some point of our lives. Well, Jill, I gotta go. Always a pleasure. Going to ignore that question. Please come again. <laughs> Ah, Alma. No, hello. Oh, oh I thought I wanted the voice Alma. I was like, oh, damn it. <laughs> She's the cutest. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. You're pretty insistent on that one, aren't you? It's basic courtesy. Something I will fight to uphold. First, the greeting stop. Then saying please and thanks stops. And then you, before you know it, boom. Total anarchy. You're exaggerating. I'm not. 
In fact, I'll go through that door again, and I expect you to properly greet me this time. <laughs> Hi. Hello, Jill. Once upon a midnight dreary, while I pondered. Once upon a midnight dreary, while I pondered, weak and weary. Hmm? Of, over a many a quaint and curious volume of forgotten lore. While I nodded, nearly napping, suddenly there came a tapping, as if someone, one, gently rapping, rapping at my chamber door. Edgar Allan Poe! I didn't know she was a fan of Edgar Allan Poe. To some visitor, I muttered, tapping at my chamber door. Only this, and nothing more. You overdid it. You totally overdid it. Quoth the bartender. I did not. <laughs> so, you like poetry? I had a phase. Can I get you something? Let's start with a big cobalt velvet. Sure. I'm glad she's not mad at me for that being, uh, being hurt with her last time. Hmm. Because of someone some invisible apparition or uh, figment of my schizophrenia. I don't know. My multiple pers personality disorder. Uh, the Cobalt Velvet for... Okay. So yeah, under name, C? Yeah. I, I know the alphabet, I think. What's the 30, 37th letter? Uh, Glorbo. Very good. <laughs> I knew it! Not Yay. many people know that. <laughs> It's, it's used so much, you don't even hear it. Mm-hmm. Uh, Thunder Guy, and five Karmatrin. Ten Karmatrin, because it's big. Ten. She wants to get drunk on the rocks and mixed. Here. Thanks. Oh, yeah, there's something I've been wondering about for a while. Mm-hmm. Does the name Shadow Master 69's Chronicles ring any bells? <gasps> wow, you went pale. No. That doesn't ring any bells. No. May 22nd, the day my daily card readings told me that I'd meet great change thanks to an old man. My biology teacher told me I'd been picked for an interschool contest with my latest essay. I just knew a scientific theory on the idea of auras was as revolutionary as I thought. Soon I'll bring the world into the occult science singularity. Later entries don't seem to have gone that well, though. Mentions of being laughed at, being lectured on why the essay was wrong. <coughs> what do you uh, Jill? I made sure to delete that blog! No evidence should be left! I can think of at least six different sources off the top of my head that all have that stuff archived. Why? Why? Sheesh, relax. It's not that bad. What do you mean it's not that bad? Do you realize how embarrassing that all is? We've all been young, Jill. Relax. It's not like you're still at that nowadays. Like that nowadays. That would have been embarrassing. You're not still like that, right? Hots, no. I gave up on that whole occult stuff. It's just that remembering all that stuff is... Cringe. <laughs> I don't know. I like the way you looked. <clears throat> all dressed in black with a rare accessory popping out thanks to the colors. I mean, at least you have the decency to use makeup and take care of yourself. So you have a pick. Oh god, you have a fucking pick. Why would you do this to me? Why did you dig out all the sins of my past? I was bored. Last Friday I had to take my mind off the whole Diana thing, so I ran a small background check on you. Simple stuff, just checking past internet activity. Oh, please don't run background checks like that. I just used a search engine, you know? I didn't request documents or anything. What led you to the page? You do realize your main mail account everywhere is still the one you used back then, right? Oh. Like I said, relax. You were obsessed with occultism, 
you, I wanted to kiss all the boys. And I almost, kind of almost accomplished that in middle school, which still sort of haunts me today. Whoa. <laughs> <sighs> Never underestimate the lengths old classmates will go to track you down. Especially if they think you're still the girl that kissed them for fun and they're lonely to boot. We all have things we're not proud of as adults. <sighs> now I know how criminals feel when evidence is used against them. I have to ask, though, why the 69? It was supposed to be 69, not 69. Like, in reference to both the lovers and the hermit. I was convinced that it meant wise choices. Jill, there's <laughs> nobody that would read that as 69. I, I, was, I was 12 at the time. Even at 12, I knew what a 69 was. Just how innocent were you back then? You have no idea. Well, let's sweeten up things a bit. I'll have a sugar rush. Sure. Oh, God. Here, have four. Trying to silence her, I see? Yes. Here, have another. <laughs> Here. This is the thing. Say, Alma, speaking of the past, what was your last long-term relationship like? That's sudden. You dug through my past, I've earned the right to dig through yours. Fine, fine. Long-lasting relationships, huh? Romantic ones, I'm guessing. Yep. Hmm. Well... I've had about mm, four boyfriends I'd describe as such, that I've introduced to my family and all. The first one was in high school. I broke up with him because he cheated on me. I remember the other girls trying to pick a fight, and me just saying, keep him. The second one was during my freshman year. I broke up with him after he thought it'd be funny to punch me in the arm. Whoa. Fuck starts with a friendly hit and before you know it anyways that's mm. the other guy I met shortly after I dropped out he was interested in marriage but he wanted to get married only after half a year or so of knowing him and then there's Richard who spent almost four years with him we got along pretty well we had awesome chemistry I truly loved him but as time went on, there was a rift that started separating us. He just didn't like my family. He didn't? Moreover, he wasn't a family person. He distanced himself from his own and voiced that he didn't want kids. There was a part of me that wanted to believe, even if just for a little bit, that maybe he'd change his mind. But as much as I loved him, that one detail brought a growing gap between us. And at one point, I just... I had to break up with him. But I'm not here to depress you. Bring me a beer, will ya? Sure. Let's get her a beer. A beer indeed. I should... I should already... I've done this twice already. Not knowing... Not having to bring it up. Like the instructions. Mm-hmm. I don't know why I forgot everything now. It's fine. It's always good to double check. Yeah. Thanks for telling me that, by the way. Don't mention it. Okay, one more question and we're even. Wow, you really are embarrassed of that blog, huh? Sure, ask away. At what age did you get those implants on your boobs? <laughs> <laughs> Jill, I love you, and I know you're saying that in jest. But I've lived through so many rumors about me getting plastic surgery that I can't and won't take it as a joke. As such, in honoring our friendship, I'll just say this. They're real, and they're spectacular. <laughs> now, ask her the real question before I slap you. I'll grant you one, and only one chance to call me by my full name as a compensation, then. I'll gladly take your offer. 
It's funny that you mentioned slapping, because my real question was, why did you get your hands chopped? <laughs> chopped. Well, there's a couple of reasons. The first is that I spend lots of time typing, and these replacements help me avoid carpal tunnel syndrome. Uh oh. There's other utilities, like how I can interface with many devices. For example, there's a tiny computer embedded in my glasses. Oh. If I move my index finger, it acts like the computer's cursor. There's lots more, but they're small things that don't sound that impressive when I say it out loud. How did your family take the operation? They took it well enough, except for my mom. She freaked out for months. She even went to the hospital to ask for my hands. Oh my god. Don't you miss them? Sometimes, but just during emotional moments. But as luck would have it, someone else has them. Shortly before my operation, there was an accident on the highway. One of the victims was this young lady whose right hand got completely crushed. Oof. I told them to check if we were compatible and all that. I mean, implants are not everyone's first choice if they can get a natural replacement. A bit of cosmetic treatment and you can pass off as her original hand with no problem. Hmm. Last I heard we were compatible and the family agreed to the donation. I don't know what became of her, but I hope she's fine. And you didn't tell your mom about that? I didn't want her pestering the poor girl. Man, now I'm just imagining Alma's, Alma's mother going up to this, this poor woman and just being all like, give me my daughter's hand back. That would be truly terrible, huh? I brought this I brought this empty jar of pickle juice. Just put it in there, it'll be fine. <laughs> so are we cool now? Are we even now? Are we? You were pretty pissed about my comment regarding your boobs. Again, I'm sorry, it sounded a lot less rude in my head. Yeah, don't worry about that. Besides, I get to call you Julianne once. Nah, you don't. Yeah? Why? You just call me by my full name. Are you serious? One chance and only one chance, and you just use it up. <laughs> Curses. <sighs> Surprise! Not her again. Hey, Alma, this might be a weird tangent, but do you believe in ghosts? Hey. Not particularly, no. Although there was this paper I read that was the ones that was quite interesting. Mm -hmm. It proposed a scenario where nano machine clusters would leave the body after death, and then act as a collective hive mind through residual brain waves. Oh, that's neat. The result would basically be an image, not unlike a hologram. Of course, the hypothesis fell through because such nano machine density is impossible in a body. Even 5% of the amount needed is enough to make the blood too dense for the heart. And it's not like brain waves are potent enough to create those reactions. Still an interesting read, though. I see. Hmm. Don't give me that look. It's not my fault that you convince yourself that you're crazy. Well, I'll leave then. See you tomorrow. See ya. All done? I am. What about you, Gil? For some reason, the idol girl left him like that, it seems. You think? <laughs> it might have been while he was out. True. Hey, hey, boss, you're a fan of wrestling, aren't you? I mean, you were a wrestler, so... That I am. Yeah. Why? I was just wondering, isn't wrestling fake? Aren't twin tails for little girls and teens with 8th grade syndrome? <laughs> Uh, eighth grade what? It's uh, I think it's called Chinubio. 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 Yes. When you get down to it, wrestling is as real as a soap opera. I mean, you don't really expect a legal lawsuit to be fixed in a ring, right? Sure, in my ideal world, you would solve legal problems through good old wrestling, but. <clears throat> No, seriously. Eighth grade what? But you don't go around calling soap operas fake. It's a show. It just so happens to use fights as an expression. You might as well see it as a unique form of the theater. Uh, yeah, that's what it is, and it's fun. 
Mm -hmm. Besides, considering the injuries many wrestlers suffer, it's, just a, it's not all fake. Yeah, it's like one, the, one of the minimum requirements of being a wrestler is high pain tolerance. Mm -hmm. Huh. I didn't think about it that way. Sadly, I won't stand for anyone bad-mouthing wrestling. So, now I have to go and break Gil's back to make you humble. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, oh, well. Wait, well, what? Come here, Gil. <laughs> ah! Eighth grade what? <laughs> Nice. Nice. So we're so close. We're we so close. close to that $10,000 thing. I think um, we should be able to make that. We should be able to make it. Oh, never mind. So how do you do this then? Uh, we've got to play better, I guess. <laughs> If I don't buy the thing, I can make the rent. Hmm. But if I if I don't buy if I don't buy the thing, I won't get the ending. Hmm. What is going on? Did I, did I do something wrong? We played perfectly until now, and the only way to get that ending is to vacate the premises. Is it possible that we could have been serving more expensive drinks? Or maybe this was intended. Maybe it's like you got so maybe this is part of the story. It might be. But that's that can't be the case because if you go to the shop, Mulan tea is $900. Mhm. Mm so if you don't buy that, you would have enough money. Mhm. Mm So what's what what's what do what, what? this might be something that we'll need to look into that we'll need to look into, I guess, in short. But yeah, they are they are pretty uh pretty on point with that, huh? I suppose. Or on point is not the word I'm looking for. Strict, I guess, is more so the the oh. verbiage. I'll have to do some research, mm -hmm. but we'll do that off stream. Yeah, uh, we reached the end of the day, yes. and we'll um we'll figure out what the hell what, what the hell went wrong, and um we'll go from there. Indeed. All right. Thanks for everyone for showing up today, and um yeah yeah let's find some let's let's find something to raid. All right. I think mm. I chose. Yeah, I chose last time. I'm pretty sure. Okay, um, you did. I don't know. Let's see. As much as I'd like to, as much as I'd like to, like raid into someone playing Zelda, I just don't want, I don't want to risk it. Mm -hmm. I don't want to risk, like, getting a uh, spoiler shoved in my face. Fair, so, fair. I am, I'm going to pick, um, I'm going to pick someone who's been on a hiatus for a while and is now back. I did a, I did a commission for them, a suavemente for them. So, mm. um, nice. let's raid into Rider Captain Rain. Hmm. I'll give I'll give you the I will give you the um the name of them real mm -hmm. quick. Writer Captain Rain. All right. If I would I would highly su I would highly suggest if if I was them I would try to switch their name to Rain VT as fast as you can before it gets before it gets taken because <laughs> that's a really long name. Hmm. But here we go. 
Oh, this this channel has subscriber-only chat. I hope that's okay with everyone. Hmm. Uh, should be okay. As long as you follow, you can, um... Uh, you can reply to them. But yeah, those are the, uh, those are the raid messages. Anything you'd like to say, uh, before we end today? Um, I believe that's everything. You know, I already, I guess I can reiterate, if nothing else. Yes, please. Put yes. Please. <laughs> so, uh, once again, I've, uh, picked up streaming activities a little bit more recently with, or I guess, ancillary streaming activities, not the actual streaming itself at this point. But, um, where was that? Okay, so, streaming. <laughs> Yeah, so uploading VODs, uh, gonna get back into streaming pretty soon, ideally. Uh, yeah, get, get back into streaming pretty soon, including, and yeah, I will be playing uh, Arc Knights mostly. That is what I will be focusing on outside of, uh, outside of this uh, collab. There we go. All right, tomorrow I'll be playing uh, Security Booth, and after that, be doing some art doing an art piece but security booth main attraction i'm going to be mm. scared out my mind raid's going in seven seconds goodbye huh. everyone Bye bye i should bye. probably uh make my raid happen huh forgot about that <laughs> forgot about the raiding part of the raid you're fine anyway and yeah customary raid message is as always we have arrived so thank you all for being here tonight i hope you have had a fine night I hope that you'll continue to have a fine night every night, and I hope that you'll be well until the next time I see you. Thank you all very much, and farewell. Let us get this raid underway. Bye-bye! Farewell. <laughs>